verse 14, 15, and 16. The book of Matthew on today. Verse chapter 5, verse 14, 15, and 16 on today. We want to read God's word, just those verses, and I promise you, I will not be before you very long on today. You have those verses. Amen. I would ask that you would share with us on today in those verses. It is imperative and it is important. It says this. Verse 14 says, ye are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. It says <coughs> that neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it given light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine mm -hmm. before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Uh -huh. Gracious God our Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. God, I ask right now, God, that you would allow me to preach these next few moments from the word of God. And God, that the people of God will receive the word that you have given me for them today. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. I want to talk from the subject on today. Let your light shine. All right. Let your light shine. Now I want you to follow me because I have a point I'm going to, going to. And I know people say, well, feed us, feed us, and I'm going to feed you today. But I want, I want to say this, that I want you to hear uh, the message on today. Many times we say amen, but we don't even hear what the preacher is saying. Come on, come on. Because we get so excited, we don't hear what the man of God or the woman of God is saying. But I want to talk about let your light shine. The whole area you, you are in becomes lighted because of your light. The whole area that you are in becomes lighted because you are light. Come on with that. We bring, our, we bring ourselves to ask this question. What is light? Well, Webster says this. Webster says that light is, y'all hear me good, I'm going somewhere with this. Light is the electromagnetic radiation uh -huh. within a certain portion of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum. The three great philosophers of, of ancient Greece Y'all know who I'm talking about, Socrates and Plato and Aristotle, established the foundation of the disciple, of the disciplines of astronomy and biology and mathematics, politics, and philosophy. Come on. But then Euclid summarized fundamental knowledge of optics, such as reflections and diffusion and vision into a book called Optics. To understand light, you have to know that what we call light is what is visible to us. Uh -huh. You see, visible light is the light that humans can see. It's the light that we can see. Dogs can see only the shades of gray. Some insects can see light from an ultraviolet part of the spectrum. Come on now, teach us. We must remember that our light is what scientists call visible light. Uh-huh. Visible light is only one small portion 
of a family of waves called electromagnetic radiation. We must understand that the uh, electromagnetic waves which have very long wavelengths, both, and y'all heard this in school, young folk, both gamma rays and cosmic rays, and you heard it in college, which are at the other end of the spectrum and have very small wavelengths. But understand this visible light is near the middle of the spectrum. Come on. Light, you see, carries energy. Uh -huh. I want to say that again. Light carries energy. Uh huh. As far as we know, all types of light move at one speed when it's in a vacuum. And we learned that in college. But notice this. The speed of light in a vacuum, hear me good, is 299 million. 792,458 meters per second. Mm. That's fast, y'all. But even when you are traveling that fast, it will still take a while to get to the places in space. Come on. It takes about seven minutes for light from the sun to reach the earth. Huh? Y'all don't hear me? It takes about seven minutes for light from the sun to reach the earth. It takes over four years for the light from our sun to get to the nearest star. It will take a particular particle of light over 100,000 years to get from one side of our galaxy to the other side. Yet Jesus says we are the light of the world. Huh? A city that sitting on a hill that cannot Can be hid. Yeah. Jesus said, let your light so shine before me that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Come on. It's hard to see when you are in darkness. But when we you can't see nothing else, or see nothing else in darkness, know that Jesus is near to comfort and cheer us. Jesus spoke in John 8 and 12 and said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I, I need to speak this word to you. The King David says in Psalms 119 and verse 105, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my yeah, head. Yeah. Oh Lord, have mercy. I feel this thing. John, 1 John 1 and 7 said, But if we walk in the light, yeah. as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all our sins. Oh, my God. Body wash will cleanse your body. Shampoo will cleanse your hair. But the blood of Jesus will cleanse your sins. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ephesians 5 and 8. Says this, for at one time you were darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Well, somebody said, well, Pastor, I still don't understand it, brother preacher. I still don't get it. First Peter 2 and 9 said, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excesses of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Somebody has to be a light in the world. Somebody has to shine the light bright in the world. The world is in trouble now. They're fighting. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. I know we're having peaceful protests, but they need the light of Jesus. Yes. That's the name of the Lord. This is the message we have heard. John 1 and 5 said, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light. Yes, and in him there is no darkness at all. There is no darkness in the Lord Jesus. David the king said in Psalm 27 and 1, he said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Come on, come on. Soon shall I fear. Yeah. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Isaiah 42 and 
16 says, and I will lead the blind in a way that they do not know in paths that they have not known. I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light. The rough places into level ground. These are the things I do. And then he said, and I do not forsake them. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Psalm 119 and 130 says, the unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. Yeah. Isaiah 60 and 1 says, arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Lord, have mercy. We need light, saints of God. We need the light of God. God said, Jesus said, let your light shine. Lord, that men may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. It's dark in our world, but we need the light. Jesus, he is the light. He's the light of the world. Yes, he is. He's the joy in sorrow. He's the help in a present time of trouble. Come on, come on. The Lord make his face shine upon you mm -hmm. and be gracious to you. Mm -hmm. The Lord lift up his countenance. Come on, now. come on, come on. Somebody said light. Uh, light. Yeah, he lift up his light upon you and give you peace. I want to tell America, huh? the Lord bless you, huh? And the Lord keep you. Come on. The Lord make his face to shine upon America. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing now. The Lord make his faith to shine upon our world. The Lord make his faith shine upon the unemployed. The Lord make his faith shine upon those who have lost loved one and be gracious yes, 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 yes. unto you. Yes. The Lord lift up his countenance. Mm -hmm. Lift up his light yes. upon you. And when he lifts his light up, he gives you peace. We need the light of Jesus. Yes, yes. I got to close with this, but I close with this. The world was dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the world was dark over 2,000 years ago. The world was dark. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because our Lord had went, he was on his way to the cross. Yes. Oh, yeah, I need to close with this. He was on his way to the cross, and the world was dark. Our world was in sin. Sin was all in our land. Sin was in us, huh? Sin was in our mamas and daddies. Sin was in our sisters and brothers. Sin was in our family members. But Jesus, y'all ain't gonna say nothing now. Huh? Jesus on the third day got up with all light in his head. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Huh? He got up with all light. I'm not talking about a 60 watt. Uh, I'm not talking about a, a 40 watt. Oh, bless him. I'm not talking about a 15 watt. But he got up with all kind of watt. Yeah. The Bible said all oh, power in his head. He's able to deliver. He's able to heal cancer. He's able to deliver coronavirus. He's able to deliver COVID-19. Yes, he is. Highlight. I want to tell you this morning. I'll tell you on Facebook. Tell you on YouTube. If you don't have Jesus as the light of your life this morning. You don't have Jesus. He says that ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill that cannot be in, huh? But if you can't hide this light, huh? My Lord. You can't, the Bible said the earth is the Lord's and 
and the fullness thereof. I don't know. Listen, let me let me encourage somebody. I need to encourage somebody this morning. I, and I'm closing, but I want to encourage you. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Stop worrying about what's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen to the people of God. Huh? Yeah, yeah. If we right. are in the light, huh? As he is in the light. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Come on, come on. If we walk in the light of Jesus, huh? Nothing is too hard for God. He can do anything but fail. The woman, I told y'all the story about the woman that had searched all, had spent her money 12 years looking to be healed. Say that now. She Say that. Jesus was passing by. Watch out now. And she simply went and touched. The hem of his God. Let me say this. Darkness and light don't go together. Huh? Y'all ain't going to say that tonight. Come on, come on. You can walk in your house. And when you walk in your house, it can be dark. You ever, some, some of you that's watching me today, some of you here at the sanctuary that's watching me, listen at me good. You can walk in your, you ever been in your house sitting in the in, in the light and the air condition was going, it was cool in the house, y'all ain't gonna say that. The fan was going, it was feeling good in the house, the ceiling fan was going, but all of a sudden somebody hit a pole and knocked the lights out. Huh? And when the all lights right, out, all right. you couldn't find your glasses, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. You couldn't find your shoes. All of a sudden it got hot up in the house. I want you to know that Jesus says you are the light of the world. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Ever since you, God. that day, there's been a change in my life. Somebody said, well, I got saved, but I made some mistakes. But the Bible said, listen, he even tells us that we have an advocate with the Father. Yes, huh? Lord. Yes, Lord. God, light is in God. Huh? Listen, all you got to do, you know, sometimes it may be dark in the house and you light a candle. And I want to give this illustration. I'm closed. I'm going to pray. But it's been dark in our house before when the lights went out because uh, there somebody hit a pole or something and my wife lit a candle and all we had to do is find our way to the candle because if we found our way to the candle all right you see huh y'all ain't gonna talk to me now if we found our way to the candle we felt satisfaction guarantee if we found our way to the candle we can see some things we can see what our hands look black we can see what our faces look but if we found our way to the candle way to the candle. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Huh? Ever since that day. And listen, all you gotta do, if you mess up, you make a mistake, find your way back to the candle. Huh? Who is oh the God. candle? Oh God. The candle is God. He's, we, yeah. we have an advocate. We have an advocate with the Father. Jesus died on the cross so that you might be saved from your sins. I want to say this morning as you watch this slide, that if you're not saved, if you don't have communion with the Lord Jesus Christ, if you're sitting in this building and you know that during the week you did something that's not right in the sight of God, that you know you messed up. Because many times, even we that are, that are come to church, and like I said, it's only the core few here. But understand this, even when we come to church as brothers and sisters of God, we act like we've had it all together. Come all on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're looking in church who's looking at us. We're trying to see who's looking at us. Because we sit on the pulpit. Because we sit on the missionary board. Because we sing in the choir. Because we serve on the oh, mother no, board. No. But I'm here to let you know that mothers need Jesus too. Oh, all right, Jesus all right, all right. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, every, every day, every opportunity I get, you ought to go to the light. The light is the altar. Ain't gonna talk to me now. Find your way back to God. Find your way back to 
find your way to the altar. Stop, stop procrastinating. Think and wonder who's looking at you. And here's the thing about God it. Here's the thing about it. There will, there will be many that's going to help to save others. Uh-huh. But you yourself will be lost. I, I just spoke uh-huh. a word right there. Right, right. right. You didn't understand. Right, that. right. This whole man. I just spoke a word right there. That we're going to help many be saved. But in the end result, there are going to be many leaders and people of God, men of God, women of God, that's going to be lost because we think that when we get the Holy Ghost, we don't need to go to the altar no more. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Well, every day, <laughs> I know that's right. we need to go to the altar. Yeah. We think there are people who are saved today that they think they don't have to ask for forgiveness no more. Every day, huh? every day. You offended folks years ago and you never asked for forgiveness. Huh? Every day you need to ask God, forgive me. Job took his family and every day he said, we're going to ask God to forgive us. Yes, yes. You're not saved. If you're here, if you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, wherever you are, find your way to this site. Find your way. Repeat after me the words that I'm going to pray today. Because listen, let me tell you something. Once the Lord save you, once the Lord sanctify you, once the Lord fill you with the Spirit, let me tell you something. Every day you need another feeling. He asked God to fill you every day. The Bible says the Spirit is willing, but the flesh. Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Listen, the flesh is weak, huh? Flesh don't want to live right. Flesh don't no, want to tell no, you, huh? no. Flesh don't want to walk up right. Uh-uh, flesh uh-uh. don't want to treat their brothers and sisters right, huh? Something folk did to you years ago, and you have not forgave them. Uh-huh. I'm here to let you know if you have not forgave them. Jesus is not in you. Light is not in you. Except ye forgive your brothers. Huh? Love. Listen. The Bible said love one another. Huh? Love your neighbor as yourself. I want to pray. I want to pray. Because there are people in church. There are people who, who are members of churches. But they don't have the love of Jesus Christ. Huh? They still hold on to stuff they should have let go of years ago. Father in Jesus name I pray today God. For those who are not saved, those who don't have the Holy Ghost. God, I pray right now, God, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. And today, God, I'm asking you to save me, Lord. Save me, God. Forgive me of every sin, every unrighteousness. Forgive me. If I said anything, if I offended anybody, God, forgive me now. I'm sorry, God. God, I want to walk in your light. God, I pray right now, God, for those who are sick, those who are saying right now, pray for me, Pastor. Pray for me, preacher. I'm sick in my body. God, I pray for every every arthritis demon. I pray for every cancer demon. I pray for every eye trouble, back trouble, sugar diabetes, high blood pressure. Come down. Sugar diabetes. Come under control. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you now. Yes, Lord. I believe by faith that it is so. It is in Jesus' name. God, I pray for that young man, that young lady, God, that's struggling in their life, struggling in their finances, struggling in their job, God, struggling, God, to make ends meet. I pray for them now, God, that you would open up a door even now and make ways for them even now, God. And as you do it, God, let them not forget that it is you, God, and it is in Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you, God, now. I pray for those incarcerated. I pray for those in prison, God, in jail. I pray for those, God. Save them now. God, save them while they're there, God. Save them, sanctify them, fill them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Please join us each Sunday at 10 a.m. Please join our Sunday school superintendent at 915 to 945 a.m. on Sunday morning. God bless you as I pray. Until the next time, God bless you.